most fashionable new car, the Chrysler PT Cruiser. Driving into Las Vegas is absolutely weird. It just appears out of nowhere in the middle of a desert. Good old Ken, he couldn't take the PT Cruiser to Morecambe Bay, could he? Had to be Las Vegas. Mind you, got to admit, it does suit the car. And now, as always, what's big over there is getting to be big over here, and the cruiser's becoming quite a common sight on our roads. Not that that stops it turning heads, but if you've bought one, once the novelty does wear off, what are you left with? The good news is quite a lot of those custom touches are carried through to the interior as well, but the same goes for the exterior here. The image of the thing does not compromise its practicality. There's loads of space, it's easy to use. What they've very cleverly done is pep up what's been until now one of the most boring of classes, the Mini MPV, and it's a good class to pep up because the frustrated family man or woman wants to have all the practicality of their Mini MPV and still look good on the high street. In America, they've got a website dedicated to these things. They're nuts about them. If it enjoys a fraction of that success in Europe, Chrysler are going to do very, very well indeed out of the PT Cruiser. Perhaps the one area in which the Cruiser doesn't do itself justice is in performance and handling. Just one look will tell you it is pretty top heavy. The engine is hardly exciting and neither is it thrilling at the controls. What it really needs is a performance version in the range. More power, perhaps even lowered as well.